further along Brunswick Street is the iconic Flowers Bar Z. This landmark business celebrates its 30th birthday this year. And to mark the occasion, they are running a series of 30 activations through to October 2020. Sarah, don't you just love fresh flowers? Oh, absolutely. And the smell of them mm. is probably the most impressive yeah, thing. Yeah, you right? can smell this place before you even yeah. come in the doors. It's yeah. incredible. And what flowers do you love most? Flowers depend on your mood, right? And mm -hmm. obviously the occasion as well. So, you know, you've got your beautiful roses around us now, but sometimes you just want something a bit more colourful or you want something with a bit more mood. Mm -hmm. But personally, I just love natives because they last. They last forever. They do, yeah. don't they? They're economical. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes. So what do you love most about Flowers by Beth? I love this place because we're right on bustling Brunswick Street, but as soon as you step off the footpath, you are in this colourful floral oasis and you kind of just leave it all behind. I can never spend a couple of minutes in here. I'm often in here for half an hour and have to kick me out. Yeah. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Another favourite of Sarah's is the Magic Mountain Saloon, located in Little Collins Street in the city. This is a boutique bar and eatery serving a fusion of modern Australian cuisine with Asian food. Sarah, this place has a great vibe. Absolutely. It's kind of got a bit of an eclectic vibe, doesn't it? Yeah. And the food smells delicious. It does. It looks delicious too. But hey, I wanted to say congratulations on being signed to 60 Minutes. Thank you. An absolutely iconic show. Legendary reporters. How does it feel? It's just such a privilege to be part of a team that has such a strong legacy on Australian television. Yeah, absolutely. So Sarah, born in Syria, yes. raised in Melbourne, yeah. Monash University, TV star. <laughs> Tell me about your career. I don't know about that part, but <laughs> certainly born in Syria, yes, came to Australia when I was four. My family migrated looking for a better life and that's exactly what we found here in Australia. We're so lucky to be here. Growing up, I wanted to meet more people and, and sort of learn more about their stories and that led me to studying at Monash University Arts and Journalism and then exploring journalism at Channel 10 initially. And then I started at SBS and I guess that's what really ignited my passion to sort of travel the world and bring those stories back home to Australia, which in itself then led to 60 Minutes. You're traveling all around the world for your job. What have been some of the highlights? This year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon mission. Yeah. And having met Michael Collins, who was the third astronaut, he was amazing. He's such a great character. We also got to travel to London and do a story on the absolute mess that is Brexit yeah. and interview Tony Blair to get his perspective on it, which was really interesting. I've also met Greta Thunberg, the amazing 16-year-old from Sweden who's just taking the world by storm now with her climate activism. Yeah. Recently we went to Malaysia and saw a part of the missing MH370 yeah. plane, which is still a mystery to this day. To have that rare opportunity to tell a story, and we've got the time and the space to do it well, and to delve into the story just a little bit more than you would see on the nightly news. I'm just living an absolute dream right yeah. now. Well, Sarah, thanks for a great day. It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? it sure has been. All right, I think it's time to dig in now. Let's do it. We've earned it. <laughs> if you would like more info on where Sarah and I have been,